a circle of fifths useless? I don't know. This is up to you to decide. I'm going to tell you what it is, how it works, what's the point of the circle of fifths, and then I want to hear at the end of this video what you think. If this is something that you find useful or just confusing. Um, so the circle of fifths is designed to help us know which keys have, or which scales, so it could be another way to say it, have which sharps and which flats and how many of them. And it also helps us to know the relative major and minor relationship between key signatures. So for example, um, C scale has no sharps, no flats. It's at the very top of our circle of fifths. And as you can see in the key signature, no sharps, no flats. And below that you see A minor, also no sharps, no flats. That's why they're kind of sharing that little piece of the pie there. And that's the top of our circle. So as you move through the circle, you're going to move in fifths. Now a fifth is made up of seven half steps. So if you start on C, you're going to count up seven half steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Brings you to the next place on the circle, which is G. Now G, this is kind of, this is one of those confusing moments in the circle because you have to know already that G has an F sharp. So it's just like a given. It's assumed. And that's why you see that F sharp in the key signature here. You'll notice that if you count up seven half steps from A, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it brings you to E. And that's the relative minor of G. So that's really cool, right? Um, and then things get a little bit even more better and interesting and useful as you move through because now you can carry those sharps with you. So moving from G to D, this is how it works, five half steps, one, two, three, four, not five, seven, five, six, seven, moves us a fifth, brings us to D. We can carry the relative minor from our G, so E, up a fifth, B, so that's the relative minor of D, yay. And now if we use that same trick with the sharp, keeping the F sharp, that gets brought on over to the next key, and adding a sharp a fifth above that, C sharp, it's now revealed to us what sharps are in the key of D. And so you can just keep adding fifths as you go through the circle until you get to the bottom. And now this is where it can get very confusing and complicated for some people, including myself. It took me, took me like forever to get this. Um, the bottom of the circle, think of it as the twilight zone. Magically, you change to flats. Now what I like to do when I get to the bottom of the circle is go right back up to the top and move through the circle, starting fresh, resetting from the top of the circle and moving left. Now what this means, because you've basically just inverted your process, is you're no longer counting in fifths, you're counting in fourths. This is going to blow your mind. C to G is a fifth. G to C is a fourth. Whoa. So that's why that works. So when you kind of flip it, it inverts it, and a fifth and a fourth are just this, an inverted version of each other. So that's why that works. So now, back to the top of the circle. You're going to move in fourths, which is the distance of one, two, three, four, five half steps instead of seven. And you're going to build it just like you did on the right side. You have to have that given knowing, this is the silly part, that that first flat is B flat. So we're going to build from there. The next key is a fourth above F. And this is why it's important to know that a fourth is built of, four, is built of five half steps. One, two, three, four, five, because it brings us to B flat. The relative minor follows along using the same exact process, and so do the flats. So if you move up one, two, three, four, five flats from that B flat and bring it on over to this um, little B flat chunk of the pie, we've got our two flats, B flat and E flat. And you can move through the rest of that left side of the circle that way. So that's how the circle of fifths works. So what I want to know from you is, do you find this useful? Do you find this helpful? What do you use the circle of fifths for? Do you vote that it's super awesome or do you vote that not so much? I love to hear from you. Can't wait. Um, hope you enjoy this and we'll see you around.